Welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you know you could transform your Git commit history from a two-dimensional diagram like this to a 3D dimensional diagram or object like this? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Skyline to achieve this. To achieve this, you have to simply visit skyline.github.com and because it's a GitHub project, you don't necessarily need authorization or authentication to have your 3D model or object. So you simply have to type in your username on GitHub. Over here in my account, this is my username. So I simply have to type that over here and choose the year. So this for 2020, once I click this button, it will generate this for me. And because it takes a while, I just simply have to get this up. So you can simply rotate it around, drag to see different perspectives of this particular object. And then over here you realize you have we have the GitHub icon, your username, and then the year. And it simply looks like a skyline of a particular town or something. So you can probably you can 3D <laughs> you can 3D print this to yourself as a gift for the hard work that you've done through the year or you can just have it there as an object that you can always refer to and then interestingly enough to see another year you can simply modify the url from here and then have another object to write for you so this is my 2021 commit history and it looks like this so some of the build, uh, objects are taller than the others so I can simply come to my account, scroll down to my commit history, and then over here, realize this 60 commits, this 53 commits that day. Uh, we have 66, 36, etc. So 10 commits, 5 commits. So it's basically a, it's a very handy tool. Uh, if you just want to gift yourself for the hard work that you've done, you simply have to use this tool to achieve that and to really print it for yourself. Also, you can export this as an STL file by clicking this button and it will generate the STL file for you, which is this one. And if you have Blender or any 3D engine, you can simply import it. So I'll show you how to do it with Blender. You simply have to choose the general one, delete the cube with X, and then go to file and click import. And then over there you will see STL. So you simply have to click STL to enable you to import an STL file. So I'll go to my downloads and scroll down over here you see my STL file I simply have to double click it and because it's a very huge object by default you have to zoom out with the mouse so this is how it is and that's how to import it into blender you can also take a measurement so I simply have to click this icon over here and then click to drag from here to let's say here and we realize this object is 102.383 meters so you can adjust the height width and height to suit your taste probably you have you don't have enough real estate on your desk so basically this is how to go about it convert your github history into a 3d object please comment like and subscribe if you like this content Thank you.